Hello everyone. Have you ever tried to draw a plant cell and found it really difficult to draw the intricate cell organelles in it? Well, do not worry because today we are going to see how we can draw the structure of a plant cell and distinctly differentiate between the structure of the cell organelles when we draw it inside the cell. So, let's not waste any more time. Pick up your pencil and your paper and let's get to drawing. Now, first and foremost, I will keep the diagram towards the left hand side of the page so that I can keep my labelings towards the right. It might not be possible always to label everything on the right but we will try to keep as many labelings on the right and few we can still label on the left. Now the shape of a plant cell can vary. You can draw a rectangular cell, you can draw a circular or a spherical cell, you can draw a cell which is polygonal. So here. I am drawing a cell which is polygonal. So what I will do is I will first draw out the outline. Now as I said this outline will vary and will depend on how you want to draw the cell. But I would want you to keep the space inside the cell uh, a little more so that you can, you can have a space for drawing the cell organelles. So as I can tell you that this, the length of the, the maximum length of this structure that I have taken is 11 centimeters. So you can understand that that should be the space that I want so that I can draw the other cell organelles inside. So once you have formed this framework, now we will start drawing the cell wall first. So for the cell wall, we will simply draw a few lines and these lines will have endings or corners like this because in a plant cell the cell wall of the adjacent cells remain connected. Do not bother too much about the shape. The shape can be a little here and there. Now once this has been drawn, now I will have to draw the cell membrane inside. Make sure when you draw the cell membrane that these reference lines are not there and the distance between these two lines, the line that denotes the cell wall and the line that will be denoting the cell membrane, they are equidistant all over. Okay? So let us start. As you can see, I am trying to keep the gap between the two lines same all over as much as is possible. Now in a plant cell, the nucleus usually gets pushed towards the periphery and the vacuole takes up the maximum space. So first and foremost, we will draw the vacuole. Again, the shape of the vacuole can be as you want. I am drawing a large vacuole and I am keeping some space so that I can draw the nucleus and the other cell organelles clearly. So this is the vacuole which occupies the maximum space inside the plant cell. Now the cytoplasm is pushed towards the periphery along with the nucleus. So let us first draw the nucleus. For drawing the nucleus, you draw a circle which is the nuclear membrane, clearly draw the nucleolus with dots. So see I am using dots to draw the nucleolus. Be absolutely clear but do not draw a membrane or do not shade the nucleus and then you draw the chromatin network inside. You can put a few dots showing that the nucleoplasm is inside or just keep it blank. So that is your nucleus. Now we will be drawing the mitochondria. Now the shape of the mitochondria, so all the cell organelles should look different. So in case of mitochondria, when we are drawing it in a smaller scale, we draw a, an elongated structure and then we draw a line which is in a zigzag pattern inside this elongated structure. So this is the same thing that we are going to replicate. Please remember if this is the size of the nucleus, mitochondria will be much smaller. So let us draw a few mitochondria and see what the size will be like. As you can see this is the size that I am expecting. You can keep the mitochondria in any position or any shape that you want. It is not essential that they are clustered in one area. 
or they are present in a certain orientation. So you can definitely change the orientation and draw a few mitochondria in different parts of this cell. Now we will be drawing the dictyosomes. As you know in a plant cell there are no Golgi apparatus, only the cisterny float here and there. So we will be just drawing a few lines, narrow lines like this showing the single cisterny floating here and there in the cytoplasm. The next cell organelle that we are going to draw are the ribosomes. So you can draw granular ribosomes, do not make it too big. Plant cells do not have centrioles also, so that is one cell organelle less. We are now going to draw the endoplasmic reticulum. For drawing the endoplasmic reticulum, so for drawing the endoplasmic reticulum, it is better to draw the endoplasmic reticulum towards the nucleus. So it is almost like connecting the nucleus to the cytoplasm and connecting the nucleus to the cell membrane. And last but not the least, we will put dots which will show the um, cytoplasm. But for that I will uh, request you to use a pencil which is a little more deeper like I am using a 4B pencil right now. Then you do not have to put too much pressure, be calm, patient and draw these dots. Just if you use a 4B pencil or a 6B pencil, just touching the page will give you perfect dots. Do not try to put or do not try to put pressure to draw these dots, then they will become bigger and there will be a problem. There is one cell organelle which we have not drawn yet which is the chloroplast which is only present in plant cells. So we will draw that after this. Now as you can see we will keep the vacu vacuole clean and we will draw dots in the cytoplasm that will give you a nice contrast. And last but not the least we are going to draw the chloroplast. So how do we draw the chloroplast? When you are drawing the chloroplast you draw it usually like this. Okay. So we will be drawing this in a miniature form. Since this is a plant cell we will be drawing quite a few chloroplasts but keep the size small. It is almost like the uh, mitochondria. All right. So that is the diagram done. Now we are going to label it. So for labeling as always I will take a reference, I will draw a line here, we will start with the cell wall, keep the lines, draw the lines with ruler, keep the lines parallel to each other and make sure that there are no lines crisscrossing each other when you are when you're drawing the diagram. You will label every cell organelle wherever you have drawn them label them there. So in that case you do not have to drag this line too much. Do not forget to label the vacuole and do not forget to label the cytoplasm. So let us label them. First we have the cell wall, then this is the endoplasmic reticulum, then we have the nucleus, then this is dictyosome, you know that plant cells do not have Golgi apparatus, they have free floating cisterny which are called dictyosomes. This is the cell membrane, then we have mitochondria, this is chloroplast, vacuole, ribosome and last but not the least we have the cytoplasm. So that is a plant cell, we will give a footer and write a plant cell. Okay. So that is how the diagram of your plant cell should look like and that is how very easily and systematically you can draw the diagram of a plant cell. Hope you found this video useful. Do practice the diagram and I am sure you will be able to draw it easily. Hit the like button and share out this video with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, please check out our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy for full courses on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, coding and artificial intelligence. 
All the links are given below. Stay connected with us and keep learning.